Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Now, what you see here is a familiar face, the Rolex Datejust 2. Now, we've done a couple of reviews on Rolex Datejust 2s over the last couple of months, but I always like to bring in new variants because I think more than any other model in the Rolex lineup, this one, the Datejust 2, shows just how much you can dress up or dress down a particular Rolex sport watch design to suit different purposes. You can get as sporty as you want with the Datejust 2. Go black dial, Arabic numerals, all stainless steel, or even just stick indexes, dark dial, all stainless steel, and you can have an out-and-out -out sport watch. Or you can go formal, as we see here in this Rolex Datejust 2 reference 116333. Now this watch shows just how elegant a Datejust 2 can be in a way that I really feel a Datejust 1 doesn't have that kind of versatility. A Submariner doesn't have that kind of versatility. Either one of those watches, because of either size in the case of the Datejust 1, or because of proportions, rotating bezel, and general presentation in the Submariner, you don't have a range of options within that line to create a dress watch or a sport watch. The Datejust 2 gives you that, and you can see that with a black lacquered dial with Arabic gold applied numerals, matching gold hands, a fluted gold bezel, and a Rolosaur stainless steel and yellow gold bracelet. This watch demonstrates the versatility of the Datejust. Now this watch can be worn casually. You can wear this with short sleeves, you can wear it with shorts. It's sporty in its way because it has a combination of the light metals and the dark dial. But it also has a measure of refinement that works well when you're dressed up. Again, Gold is good for that, and the combination of the contrast that this watch brings to the table is excellent. It also has options for dial layout that you really don't have on the smaller 36mm Datejust 1 or a 35mm Rolex Date, because with a 41mm case, you can have those full Arabic applied gold numerals, and they stand out well without crowding the real estate on the dial. You have the applied gold Rolex crown at 12 o'clock. You have enough space for little 30, 35, 45 minute increments outboard of the hours. And of course, you have space for that Cyclops eye at 3 o'clock without crowding the dial. The Cyclops is a great feature functionally, but aesthetically, I do feel that on some of the smaller Rolex watches, especially the Date, especially the Date Just, on some of the ladies' models, the Cyclops is just overbearing. It crowds and dominates the dial, and it winds up being all you see when you look at the watch. On the Date Just 2, the sense of proportion is a little bit better. You have that 2.5x magnifier without the sense of looking through some sort of space bubble or porthole. And the watch itself has contemporary proportions. And this is where it gains some sportiness. What it loses, perhaps, in sportiness due to colored gold, it regains with a robust wrist presence. 41 millimeters across, the case actually reads a little bit bigger than that. I would say on the wrist, because the lugs are flared substantially, this watch reads as maybe a 42 or a 43, and having that broad dial really helps accentuate the impression. The watch feels great on the wrist thanks to the latest generation of the Rolex Oyster Bracelet. For a couple of years now, they've had solid links, solid half links, solid end links, and what you're getting now feels like a solid ingot of steel that's been broken out into its individual components. Very silky, very smooth. It feels fantastic in the hand. It feels even better on the wrist. And the milled out clasp, and I always mention this because handling a variety of Rolex watches here at Watch You Want, I can tell that the vintage models have their charm, but the newest models with the milled clasp, they are just the cat's meow, incredibly crisp, incredibly sturdy. These watches feel incredibly substantial when you open and close the clasp, and you can hear that crisp click when I close it, and when it opens, it's just like butter. There's no play, there's no give, everything feels like the premium product that it is. And historically, while the Rolex vintage models had a lot of charm, they didn't always have the same caliber of clasp that you would find on watches from Breitling or Omega, for example. That's not the case anymore. Rolex has upped its game, and on this Datejust 2, the milled-out clasp is a true pleasure to use. Now, it also has the Easy Link, which is a built-in 5mm tool-free adjustment right here. That's great to have because if your wrist expands or contracts a little bit in the course of daily wear, if you're being active, if it's a hot day, if it's a cold day, or if you just gain or lose a little bit of weight, you have that tool-free adjustment available, and you don't have to do anything other than pull it out and extend it, then close the clasp over it. 
don't have to go to a jeweler, you don't need a tool, there is no charge involved. It's a great little bit of flexibility that Rolex engineers into that wonderful milled clasp. It feels like a million bucks and works like it too. Inside is Rolex's tried and true chronometer grade 3136 movement. It's automatic, or as Rolex likes to say, perpetual. And it has bi-directional winding for high efficiency and a 50-hour power reserve. This works out great because if this is your only watch, and a Rolex can be your only watch, for fun, for formal occasions, either way, daily use, set it once, forget it. That's the great thing about a Rolex Perpetual. And because it is a Rolex, it's as tough as nails. Seriously. There are old catcher mitts that are jealous of this watch. That's how tough it is. Not only is it probably one of the most shock-resistant and anti-magnetic watches available due to the combination of Rolex's proprietary Paraflex shock absorbers in the movement and the Paracrom Blue anti-magnetic hairspring, it's exceptionally reliable and accurate. COSC certified, it is a Swiss chronometer, third-party verified over two weeks of testing in multiple positions over multiple temperatures. Rolex then retests the watches when they come back to their factory to make sure that they still meet chronometer spec in the case. Not every manufacturer does that. Rolex is unique in doing it, as far as I know. On the scales that they manufacture watches, almost a million a year, that is exceptional attention to detail. Now, this watch reads as new. It's available with extensive factory documentation. You can see it on our website, watchyouwant.com. Boxes, many papers, many manuals. This is a comprehensive set, and we really encourage you to take a look at the high-resolution images. If you've seen some of the stainless steel Datejust 2s we've had in the past, check out the two-tone. Check out the Rolex Rolosaur that we have here. In stainless steel and yellow gold, with a black dial and applied Arabic numerals, it's just an example of the versatility of that Datejust 2 reference, which is big, contemporary, and basically can be as formal or as informal as you want to be, not just across its range of models and configurations, but even within a given watch, like this reference 116333. Check it out on our website, watchyouwant.com. We are the luxury pre-owned watch leaders worldwide. I'm confident that when you take a look at this Datejust 2 and our full collection of luxury pre-owned watches, you will be able to find the watch you want.